Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you today? How is life in your world? Did you get to spend time with your family or do whatever it is you do in the country that you're from? Probably nothing, considering this is a uniquely American day. Um, here in America, if you're not from here, we have... Uh, Today is Thanksgiving, and tomorrow is what we call Black Friday. You might have heard of Black Friday just because of online shopping, but it, it was it's traditionally the busiest shopping day of the year because it's always been like it's always been a thing to have that day off from work. So you get Thanksgiving, which is always a Thursday, and then you get that following Friday off, and it's like you know there's four weeks till Christmas. So people were like, "Well, I got the day off. Let's go shopping," and then it turned into a thing. But um, uh, M left last, M left this morning. She was supposed to leave last night. I don't know if I told you, but she was not feeling very good. So she stayed last night and then waited till this morning to leave. So she left this morning and I've been home all day. I got my wish. Um, uh, <laughs> not my wish. Uh, uh, it, you know, family, right? So, um, I'm not sick. But I was just uh, uninvited. So I said, okay. And I've spent the day down here. And I've had a really made a lot of progress on this box thing that I wasn't quite sure how I was going to make. This is the cabinet that will hold the three drawers. It's a full box. But this is all going to get completely covered up. You're not going to see this. It's just plywood. It's all just butt joints and glue. There's no fasteners in this. I wish I'd come up with something a little bit better for the way the drawers are mounted and made them a little bit more sturdy, but I think that it'll work for a pencil drawer. This will get wrapped in walnut and cherry, and um, it'll be very attractive, I hope. And then the drawers are all done except for they need to be detail sanded. Um, these drawers have cherry fronts. This is plywood bottom, all poplar around the frame. Um, it has some drawer separators here that are made to hold pencils. <clears throat> uh, like such. And then I made a gap in between so that you can always grab that pencil out. And I made these shorter gaps in case they're shorter pencils can kind of sit in here. And then you'll be able to grab, uh, easily grab out of there. So, and... I think they all they all turned out identical. I did a little walnut drawer pull on the front. It's got a taper on the bottom, so it's got a little lip. And it's all just glue. There's no fasteners in any of this um, stuff here. They're on Some of the drawers have fasteners on the bottom, but it's really just glue. This whole thing is just glue. And I'm a bit nervous about that because I've never done a glued project. I think I've told you when I was a kid I built all kinds of stuff out of just construction lumber. My dad taught at a vocational school where they built a house every year and sold it at the end of the year and that was and they that like paid for that program's um you know that, that paid for that program so he would bring home construction lumber a lot like leftovers and cribbing and stuff um which had nails and stuff in it so i my whole life i worked with just pine um and maybe a few bits and pieces of hardwoods here and there whatever we could scrounge around but usually just oak and until i met mike from Holt Lumber Company, there was no uh, way for me to get hardwood other than oak. Uh, well, oak and poplar around here. I could get oak and poplar at like Lowe's and Home Depot, but there's no lumber supply. So this is my first attempt at making like a nice, you know, hardwood, well manufactured <laughs> um, anything uh, out, out of these materials. And it's been a tremendous learning experience for me. Um, the box will have three of these drawers. They'll pull out to get pencils. The box itself will be wrapped in a beautiful case so that it matches the style of the drawers and the drawer pulls and the, this walnut. Um, I think it's going to turn out pretty awesome, but it's, you know, we're still, I still have some time to spend. The one thing I have to figure out is. I plan on making the walnut that wraps the box. It's going to stick out a little bit, so this box will be inset, so the drawers will be kind of flush. With, if you're looking down it, you won't see these drawer handles sticking out. A little shadow line. So the walnut will only be like an inch and a half, and there's going to be this like six inch or 
five inch section of cherry <coughs> and um it all have to be resawn. i don't i mean i guess i could pull the planer out and just like throw half the wood away but I, it just it's just going to be a decorative panel it doesn't need to be more than a a quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch thick so i'd like to figure out how to resaw the bandsaw i could resaw up to four inches I don't have a resaw blade, so I don't want to do it with that super aggressive blade that's on there. So I'm going to try, I think, and do it on the table saw, but getting consistently depth uh, quarter inch slices is not easy. So I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive about how I'm going to cut all of this stuff, but at the same time, I'm not at all worried about it. I know it'll make sense. As, as, as this project, as the desk project taught me, uh, I didn't know how to make a desk before I built a desk. And I built a desk, and I made a lot of mistakes, but I now have familiarity with hanging drawers, with you know face framing, with cabinet building, with uh, making a large flat top with a biscuit joiner. You know, I've, I've learned a lot, and this project is also teaching me a whole lot and um, I'm excited to learn it I, my voice is starting to sound a little bit froggy so I might be getting this sickness but oh well so uh, I'm gonna keep playing I'm gonna try to resaw some cherry and I've got I'll put some pictures of all this stuff up on uh, Instagram if you want to you know see more of what I'm doing but uh, that's the plan is to try to finish this uh, the girls come over on Sunday I'd love to be able to give it to her on Sunday but I don't know that that's going to happen. That's a that's a it's still a lot of work. There's a lot of work that goes into this, and I have to detail sand all of those drawers so that I can put finish on them. Uh, and this box, well, this box isn't getting finished. It's just going to get it'll get finished in glue when I stick everything on. So that's what I've been up to. I hope you had a wonderful day with family, if that's your thing, or if it's not. I hope you had a wonderful uh, day in general. And thank you for stopping by and checking on me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, thanks for being my bestest friends. I appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. Alexa, tell me a random fact. Once, during a hunt, Napoleon was swarmed by so many rabbits that he had to retreat in his coach. R what? Did she, did she say rabbits? He ran away from rabbits? <laughs>